as we said, the A's are doing all they can to celebrate the first couple games by bringing in some fan favorites from the past. One of those would be Tim Hudson, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty excited about that. Tim, welcome. Pleasure Thanks. to have you here on Three Game Live. It's good to be so here. So we know that you pitched your second to last big league game actually here at the Coliseum right. against Barry Zito. Yeah. Forget about the score or the lines <laughs> in that game. Nobody wants to talk about that, but yeah. what have you been doing since then? And I won't even mention you were pitching for the other team. Yeah, well, then. you know what? It's, it's been a good adjustment for me in the last few years. I've been, you know, catching up with my kids, coaching my son's yeah. baseball team. He's, he just started playing JV baseball, so... So right now I'm Coach Hudson, trying, trying not to mess these kids up too much. Yeah. Sure Timmy, I look at you, man, being part of that big three, celebrated so much. When I first started scouting, it was with the Atlanta Braves. It was Smoltz, Maddox, and Glavin. Yeah. How has it been throughout your com career being compared to that group of three guys? Well, you know, being from uh, from the South and, and, a, and, a, and a Braves fan growing up, you know, I understood what kind of weight that comparison you know, held. and. Uh, you know, just having having that comparison with me and Zito and, and Mulder, I mean, it was it was pretty impressive just because I know how good those guys were. Uh, you know, I just hope that you know along the way that the three of us could have, you know, come somewhere close to what they've uh, what their careers were holding. And you know, I think we've done okay. It was uh, it was a fun fun ride here in Oakland. Uh, you know, obviously some injuries kind of derailed Mulder a little bit, and um, you know, but I think uh, you know between the three of us, you know, I think he. He was a guy who was probably had the best uh, natural talent from all three of us, but I think all three of us went out there and competed as good as anybody in baseball. We got to get Huddy a career in show business because Zito's doing the music thing, yeah. Mulder's doing the broadcasting thing. We got we to find a show for you or something. But, but yeah. I, I digress, and, and as for the past, when was it that you guys knew the big three was a thing? I mean, you all kind of came up yeah. simultaneously, but at what point did you realize, hey, us as a trio is yeah. something pretty special? You know, I, I, honestly, I, I think it was pretty early on. Yeah. I think 2000, when Zito got called up, when we all kind of started finding our way a little bit, um, you know, I think we all had such good success, you know, right off the bat, and our team was so excited, and we were all so young as a group. I don't think age really ever played a factor in, in, in our uh, believing in ourselves that we could compete and win at this level. Um, so 2000 was the start of it, and then come 2001, you know, I think it was, uh, you know, we knew that we could go out there and compete and beat anybody in baseball. You know, it's funny. I look at the group of you, all three of you were different. Mm -hmm. And I look at you, you are like a player today that a lot of people are talking about. You were a Friday night starter, but you also hit in the middle of the lineup for your ball club. You look at Otani <laughs> over here. Yeah. What is the challenge for this young man? Well, I mean, you're, you're competing against the best players in the world. Uh, the, you know, Major League Baseball is, 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 is a tough sport uh, to be successful at on the mound or at the plate. So imagine trying to do both at, against the best players in the world. It's a pretty tall order, uh, you know, but he obviously has some natural talent and he has some ability that's, you know, that, that is some of the best in the world. So it's going to be an adjustment period for him. You know, I think a lot of it is just going to be, you know, 90% of it's going to be mentally. Uh, you know, can he believe that he can go out there and compete and win at this level? He's the Japanese Babe Ruth, guys. He's a DH today. He's a starting pitcher on Sunday. I want to get it back, though, to what you were talking about injuries and maybe how it affected you guys as a big three. In the current day and age of baseball, I mean, look at the A's alone. A.J. Puck, Andrew yeah. Cotton now going to Tommy John surgery. What do you think is going on with that epidemic, so to speak, of arm injuries? And how did you navigate around that? Well, you know, unfortunately, I think you know a lot of young players nowadays are playing so much baseball at such a young age. In my opinion, mm -hmm. you know, I think, you know, when I was growing up, you know, we played other sports. You know, we didn't play baseball year round. And, you know, I didn't start pitching until I was a junior in high school. So I didn't get, you know, I got kind of a late start. But, you know, a lot of kids, by the time they're 15, 16 years old, you know, they, they've thrown so much. You know, I think, I think kids are better. They're more polished at a younger age nowadays. But I think the flip side of that is, you know, I think injuries kind of creep up on their, on their careers early, more early on than, than they did when I was coming up. You know, Tim, I was a part of that Braves organization where Lima's only talked about throwing, 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 throwing. Uh, well, I'm old fashioned. My yeah. voice doesn't resonate as loud as it used to. You're freshly removed from the game. If you were giving parents some type of advice about protecting their child and their arm, what advice would you give them? Well, you know, I think playing multiple sports, you know, I think giving some kids, you know, a few months off in a row is something that's a good idea. You know, I just don't believe kids should play year round. Uh, you know, I'm a believer in throwing a lot too when it's baseball season. You know, but I think your body needs time to to recover, needs time to to build itself up. Playing other sports, playing football, basketball, whatever. 
and just building those other muscles up in your body, you know, in turn will help your baseball, uh, your, your baseball muscles, so to speak. You know, the A's were kind of coming together during your time coming up with this team, and now it, it, it feels like that all over again. They've got kind of the five-year plan to build a team and also get a, a new stadium here. How do you view what the A's are trying to do, what they're up against, and how tall of a task that is? Well, you know, it has the same kind of feel now as it did when I was a young player coming up. And, you know, there's a lot of young talent in that locker room. They have a, yeah. you know, some, some players to really be excited about. I think there's some players in their minor league system to, to be really excited about. So, uh, you know, the future's bright. Uh, you know, it's just jumping through those hurdles. Obviously, you know, there's the stadium issue, but yep. you know, the bottom line is, you know, you, you go out there, you build, your, you build your big league team up through the minor league system is what they've done. They have something to be excited about. Um, you know, they have a great fan base here. You know, you put a good winning product on that field, the fans are gonna come. Absolutely. There's gonna be a lot of opportunities, hopefully, to, to either upgrade the stadium or get a new stadium somewhere. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, if you build it, they'll come. I think if, if, if the... Uh, <laughs> Where have I heard that before? You know, if there was a new stadium, I think these fans, these Oakland A fans, they, they deserve it. They deserve something, uh, you know, a special place to come watch a ball game. The players deserve it. And, uh, you know, I think if that were to ever happen, this would be an unbelievable place to, 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 to play and to come watch a game. One more from each of us, Shooty. You go first. Pitching is pitching, hitting is hitting. You know, pitchers stay away from the pit, hitters, hitters stay away from the pitching. And that group that you were a part of, I don't know, might be wrong, but I thought you were the leader of the group because you were more of the bulldog type guy that worked for everything that he got. The one thing that the A's always have had is that veteran pitcher among that rotation. They lack that this year. What is going to be the toughest challenge for this young group of starting pitchers this year? Well, you know, I just think they're going to have to go out there and believe that they can be the best in baseball. You know, that's, that's the one thing. You, you have to go out there with, with confidence. Um, you know, they, they don't have that veteran, so to speak, but you know, I think Kendall Graveman is a kid that can go out there and, and, and lead that staff. Um, you know, I think he has a great sinker. If he just goes out there and pounds that strike zone with that sinker, set the tone early, set it early in the season, um, you know, you can start feeding off of one another. And that was the one thing that we did in, in Oakland. You know, we had myself, Mulder, and Zito, and we just kind of fed off of each other's success. And, uh, you know, it can be contagious. I think that's something that can happen. Howdy, from 99 when you debuted to the end of the career of 2015, all the opening days you went through, what are the players experiencing right now inside the clubhouse? They've played plenty of baseball games. They're yeah. very fresh on it. They just went through way too much spring training. Yeah. But there's still some weird nervous tick right inside that room right now. Yeah, well, you know, obviously there's some, you're anxious. You're anxious yeah. to get out there. You've worked hard all off season. You've worked hard all, all spring training. And now everybody's on the same level playing field. Right. Uh, you know, obviously we have a young club in here, but you know we were a young club in 2000. Yep. We were a young club in 2001. Just because you're young, don't mean you can't be successful. And uh, you know, once you start winning, if you can put together a good month of the season, all of a sudden these young players start believing they can compete and win and, and beat the big big dogs in the league. And that's all it takes. I feel like he's still got 20 starts in him. Look at Tim Hudson right now. <laughs> I think the A's might be giving you a call. Uh, we appreciate right, this. Thank you. Tim Hudson, ladies and gentlemen, joining us here on Pre Game Live.